what God has brought together, no one can separate. And so, yes, you're still individuals and you have individual choices and, and, and individual thoughts. However, you're now responsible for each other because you're one. To take care of Hannah is to take care of you, Justin. To take care of Justin is to take care of you. Justin, Hannah's joys and her insecurities become your joys and insecurities. And Hannah, Justin's fears and hopes become your fears and hopes. When, when I think about what it takes to have a long, fruitful marriage, I think of a relationship that is Christ-centered, provides encouragement, unconditional love, consistently serving one another, offers the freedom to fail, and being quick to forgive, to protect the things that you value, value by preparing, praying, planning, setting goals, working hard, and being intentional, leaving nothing to chance. Honored by all. Marriage should be honored by all. The word honored there is translated as costly or precious. And believe me, your parents are well aware of the costly part of marriage. <laughs> But it's precious, it's special, and it says that it's supposed to be uh, special and precious, not just to people who are married, but by all, everyone. Marriage in and of itself, as an institution, is to be treasured, it's to be esteemed, it's to be protected, it's to be honored. That's God's plan. My name is Alex Fogg, and I'm Hannah's best friend and her maid of honor. For the past couple of years, Hannah and Justin have continued to show us the true meaning of love. Our friends always say how obviously perfect they are for each other. You take one look at them when they're together, and the idea of meant to be is depicted in its truest form. Okay, Hannah. Um, those of you who know me know I'm a crier. Hey, Hannah. Um, I want to thank you for being such a great friend. You are truly beautiful inside and out, and you have always given me great advice listen when I needed you to, and have always been there for me. I look forward to the future memories um, we will create, watching our friendship continue to grow year after year. I feel so honored to be standing here next to you today and witnessing this amazing marriage between you and Justin. I know you two have a wonderful adventure ahead of you, and with God's blessing, your marriage will last for decades to come. You are two extraordinary people, and I can't wait to watch you grow, learn, and thrive from one another. Let us all raise our glasses and toast to the bride and groom. To Hannah and Justin, and a long, happy life. <laughs> We've been praying since Justin was born in 1989 that that God would help us guide him in the time that we've been able to have him to be a, a loyal, a loving, a disciplined, a uh, driven young man that is a man after God's heart. And um, today we, we gave him away to a special person and they're now going to be a special couple that are going to have an opportunity to do God's work with their family and do God's work in this world as one so thank you God for Justin and Hannah Justin I am truly thankful for all the moments we have had because it has brought us here today my heart is filled with so much joy knowing that I get to spend the rest of my life with you, my best friend. What I love most about us is that we're always just simply us. We love each other for who we are and who we are becoming. Hannah, it's amazing to think that our day has finally arrived. Looking over the past several years of our relationship and our road to arriving here, realize how much we've been through and accomplished together. I'm proud of us 
because we have taken on challenges together and came away learning, growing, developing more trust, greater support, lots of forgiveness, and a deeper love for one another. I love the faith you have in God and for knowing what's truly important in life. For knowing that there's more than just our life here on earth. You truly live that out every day. I promise to love you forever and always. To hold your hand through the thick and the thin. I promise to do spontaneous things once in a while. <laughs> to support you and be your biggest fan. To be positive and uplifting finding the good in every day. I promise to show up and give you the best competition in bowling, ping pong, cornhole, and hitting baseballs in my parents' backyard. Justin, I can't promise you that I won't lose my keys, so, so you're just gonna have to love me through that one. <laughs> but more seriously, I promise to always grow in my faith and place my hope in God to be loyal, trustworthy, and always be committed to you. To cherish the simple moments together and to forever fill our home with love, joy, peace, and laughter. Justin, my promise to you is that no matter what our journey brings, my love for you will only grow stronger. I promise to lead our family and build our family on the foundation of faith. We have so much to look forward to building our lives together. I love you so much. And yes, like our favorite song refers to, I will be your dead sea. You will never see me. Oh, I can't kiss you yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> you almost Woo! Roll the call. That was close. That was I, great. Just sh <laughs> shove her away. <laughs> Thank you. That was awesome. On the basis of your covenant of marriage together before God and the witnesses here today, I now pronounce you as husband and wife, you may kiss your bride. For those of you that know me, um, you know I don't take a whole lot of stuff seriously. Um, and if you're looking for that sentimental best man speech, Matt is up next. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd just like to say there's nobody um, more fit than Hannah for me to kind of pass that torch on to. Um, it's the torch of the supporter. And Justin uh, is supported by Hannah the same way that I've wanted to support Justin my whole life and the same way he supported me. And so I'm so happy, proud of both of you guys' commitment to each other. Um, it's a huge step and one that's going to bless you for the rest of your lives. 